I just saw that rose peeking. <laughs> There's Graham Thomas. I just now noticed that. How fun. All right. That's fun. All right. So, still have some Dr. Witchy's yellow. Still going strong there with the Dr. Witchy's. So, trying to keep the pests off. They seem to be staying away. Um, these radish, some of them might be ready. Oh, how cute is that? Might be a little small, but that's adorbs. All right, I'm gonna keep that. Looks like habaneros are still, still putting them out. Mind you, a week from today, it will be November. <laughs> We've still got peppers. And I've got eggplant. So I will pick those. Got like two of those. Let's see that in there. Um, jalapenos, I'm not so sure. Yep, we have some jalapenos. So let me get those picked. And oh, we still have okra. And get out of the way. We still have some okra. But I think I'm going to pull those today. All right, so let me pick these things real quick. So these eggplant are pretty small, but they haven't grown in two weeks. Like, they've stayed this size, so that's as big as they're going to get. So I'm happy to report today that I did get some of that mosquito mint. It's like a hummingbird mint, uh, agastache, agastache. Um, some of the seeds that I planted did germinate. It wasn't all lemon balm in that container. And so we have blooms, so that's fun. Two, now this is a perennial. So if I can gently separate this from the container and put it somewhere else, it should keep coming back for me. So that's exciting. I also wanted to mention the kohlrabi that's doing so well right now. Um, got a couple of them, looks like three that have made it. I may plant more seeds. Maybe I won't pull it today. There's still like um, some baby okra and some flowers. I think I'm gonna leave it because there's baby okra and flowers. Okay. All right, so I'm super excited about my California Wonder Peppers. Look at that. That's a nice size pepper. Super excited. I have another one over here. Look at that. Yeah, I got two awesome peppers. And there's more flowers, more little babies coming, so that's exciting. Um, my California Wonder. Oh, Chloe. Look at that, I'm getting a yellow one yellow California Wonder. Another one here looks like it might also uh, be turning yellow. And then one here. Very cool. And my Alessia pepper. I've got a red one. That one got way overripe down there. Let's see, yeah, that's, it fell off and yeah, it might not be any good. We'll see that in the basket but I have some that I can pick here these are ready and that one I'll go ahead and pick it that will ripen in the basket looks like I have good sized cubanelles look at that very nice that is might be the biggest one ever ever the biggest one I've grown wow There's a monarch butterfly. I'm afraid to move the camera. Can you see the monarch? You probably can't. Let me see if I can get her, him, her. Very beautiful.
uh, this butterfly is enjoying the marigold a lot. So since we're over here, um, look how um, floriferous and numerous uh, my marigolds are. They're still pumping out the flowers. So now this uh, tick seed is almost done. Almost all the, the flowers are gone, but look at all those seed heads. So I will have tick seed the rest of my life, for sure. I don't know if you can see all the bees. That monarch is still there working on that one. Got another little moth. A couple of little moths there. Bees. Honeybees and bumblebees. Just busy little bees. So busy. That monarch is still there. Fantastic. So many pollinators. Very pleased. Very pleased. All right. But anyway, the pollinators are going bananas. Banana pants with their little pollen pants. Okay. don't know why some of them get this purple on them it doesn't change the taste like they they taste fine they're fine I don't know it's weird all right so I wanted to mention on these peppers I'm not going to be taking out any of these today because there's still flowers and there's still baby peppers like everywhere look baby cubanelles everywhere just little babies so I think we have a few more weeks months <laughs> weeks of cubanelle peppers and little baby banana peppers. So the peppers aren't done yet. We'll have another uh, big harvest of peppers before, probably before we get our first frost. Um, rattlesnake pole beans. I noticed today a huge bean that got away from me. Is that, no, I guess a couple of them got away from me. So here's one and this one over here is huge. Yeah, sounds big. I'm still going to eat it, though. It's not a, the seeds aren't hard or anything yet. It's still edible. But yeah, we just not real impressed with the beans this year. Not impressed. We've already looked at the marigolds extensively and the pollinators. I'm going to give up on this Bloomsdale spinach. I only got one. Yeah, I got one spinach. Oh, I'm being dive bombed by bees. These bees love the marigolds. Amaranth, Joseph's coat, still looking lovely. That sure is a pretty plant. I'll plant more of that next year. Lily put mixed colors. Um, Zinnia is just, I mean, the pollinators are, are, the pollinators are just loving it. I'm so glad that I have this there for them. Uh, Got my figs, those are Celeste, doing wonderful. Uh, Cardinal basil is getting huge, and it looks it looks great, but it's getting gigantic. The flower heads are kind of weighing the whole plant down. It's not a horrible thing. And it's beautiful. My improved Meyer lemon here. Look at these lemons. They are almost yellow. They're almost yellow. I'm super excited about that. No, I have not picked the roselle, okay? I'm going to do that maybe today, if I have time. I'm going to do it today. Oh, definitely got new limes. Look at those. Those are pretty good size. So the lime flowers for sure got pollinated, so we'll get more limes. So mama can have her drink a drinks for sure. This Bloomsdale spinach, I'm over it. It doesn't germinate, so we're done with that. Um, beans, of course, next year I'm planting so many more beans. But anyway, these Borlato bush beans are doing okay. They're still pumping out some beans. That's good. The dogs keep eating my cucamelon leaves, but it's not poisonous, so I guess it's fine. Also, I've been eating my cucamelons too soon. I've been eating them when they're like this big, but um, I'm supposed to wait, because look, hold on, look how big these are. And then if I go up here, like, look how big these are. Yeah, I was picking them too small. I was missing out on all the big cucamelons. Say my kale curled leaf kale dwarf. I only have like two, three, four out of all the seeds I planted. So 
I'll try to plant more seeds. Garden beans, they're just, the leaves are melting off again. I'm just so disappointed with my beans. Cilantro is doing great though. Look at all this cilantro. I'm excited about that and it is not bolting. So I planted it at a perfect time for my climate because it's not too extremely hot and it's too hot for the humans, but cilantro, it's not gonna bolt. And that spider keeps moving around. I was over on the other side of the fence the other day, like up against the vines and it was right there, like right by my ear, like just ugh, scaring me to death. So I don't know where she is. So we're not going anywhere near the vines right now until frost because I need her to go ahead and die now. Just die of natural causes. I can't kill her. She's gonna have to die of natural causes. Um, look at that albumosa sagifolus. Yeah. That's just, they're so cute. And I have been collecting seeds. I have. Need to collect more. Need to, I'll, do, I'll harvest some today. And also moonflower. I've been harvesting a lot of uh, moonflower seeds, but plenty more to harvest if that spider is not hiding in there trying to scare me. What else here? Bok choy. Doing all right. I think I'm going to plant some more bok choy seeds because these other ones just stagnated. Like those have been in there six weeks now. These guys have been in here a lot of the summer. Um, but those guys, I don't know what they're doing. This bib butterhead lettuce is doing really nice. Um, I could plant some more though, because not every single seed germinated and made these little rosettes. So I'll plant some more of that. But those are cute, really cute. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you these lantana seeds. They're like little blue iridescent pearls. They're like blue pearls. Look how pretty. Yeah, those are lantana seeds. That's kind of cool. I've been saving seed too. Um, this Brussels sprouts is doing so good. It's like getting so much taller now. And I still just come and peel off the sprouts while I'm working out here and I just eat them. So, we got, I can't believe I kept this alive all through Texas summer. Ooh, there's some little bug droppings right there. Oh my God, we haven't had poop in such a long time for a tour. So, is that poop or eggs? Poop or eggs? So everything over here, of course, is looking great. I have been collecting seed from the coleus. I didn't realize collecting the seed would be so easy because I'd never seen the seed before. I thought they're, I thought these were sterile. It's just the seeds are really, really, really tiny, like really tiny, itty bitty. So I've been saving seed. Um, also from the blue butterfly pea, been saving a lot of those seeds. They are just so pretty. Yeah. Oh, that wind feels good. Man, it's hot today. So hot today. Everything's still going pretty strong. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I did bring the ladder because I wanted to try to get all of those roselle right there. So we have more of those beautiful, like silvery blue seeds. They're just so pretty. Silvery blue seeds are so pretty. Oh, one's gonna come. I wreck things. Jiminy Christmas, I wreck things. Okay, anyway. Oh, there's a moth right there. Pretty. Okay. So, not a lot going on on the outside. Um, I do have some jasmine in here to pick for tea. <sighs> Pretty jasmine. They smell so good. Anyway, we'll see what I get done today. It's just so hot. Um, rattlesnake pole beans. I almost walked past it because they're not doing good not doing good at all this this died this was a rattlesnake pole bean um, there's a tiny baby bean that's gonna die it's whatever uh, little marvel peas at least those are still alive they're not really growing but they're still alive um, ba -dum -ba -ba. good 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 oh that wind feels so good I'm just gonna walk around the back side here. Not a lot going on right now. Um, like I said, my season's not over. It's just gonna change and slow down. Uh, that Roselle needs to be picked. Oh, another volunteer zinnia. That's a pretty color. Hello. <laughs> Garbage is still there. Don't judge me. Garbage is still there. Look how big these kookamelons are. 
Oh, I was picking them too small all season. I was picking them like that. I should wait till they're like that. Look at that. Yeah, I'm a ding dong. So many cucamelons, so many cucamelons. And I hope that spider didn't move into there because that would just be rude. Rude, my hose, because I still haven't fixed the irrigation. Stop judging me. So anyway, that, that spider was like right here. Like, see, I don't see her now. Oh, she was like hanging out right there. That big, giant orb weaver. It's, oh, it's BS, BS. So I don't know if she's moved over here. I don't know if she's in this. Like it's gonna be hard to harvest my moonflower seeds. I don't know where she is. Ah! Oh, here's my, um. I don't even know if she's like right here. I wanna bend down and I'm scared. Um, this is my butternut squash. <laughs> and that's it. The vine flipping died. So anyway, I have a tiny baby butternut. I will probably just stick it in the microwave with some butter. And I'm eating that thing. Yeah, it's getting et. Okay, so there's, that's all my junk. So that I can uh, do some cleanup in here. How about Bill? Chloe, shadow, there you are. There's shadow over there. All my babies are with me. The husband is on his way to North Carolina, helping our friends move. So he's on an adventure and I'm out here sweating with the dogs. Yeah. All right, let me, uh, oh, circle bed, hello. So before I put the camera back on the tripod and finish harvesting, um, in the circle bed, our salvias are doing beautiful. All the salvias. As you can see, Golden Edge Durant is doing great. Mums, salvias, roses. I don't think I have any roses going on right now. But mums are doing good. These herbs still hate me, but tarragon is still hanging in there. I mean, it's hanging in there. Let me see if I can get in here without my shadow. Um, the oregano, maybe not. I don't know. It looks like it's getting smaller and punier. The mint seems to be doing okay. See? This artichoke is dying again. The leaves get to a certain size and then they die. I don't... I don't understand artichokes, apparently. White margin snow rose. It's looking... I guess it's still recovering from when I let it dry out too much. I mean, it looks a little, like, sun bleached. But that was my fault for letting it dry out in that terracotta pot. Um... I don't even know if that Russian sage wants to be here anymore. He just hates me. But this salvia looks good. Look how it looks with the chartreuse of the Cuban gold. Love that. Love that. And then this Cuban buttercup. That looks amazing. Balls. Looks like something's eating the buttercup flowers. Oh, something is eating them. Well, well, I don't know what to do about that. Let me set up the tripod and finish my harvest for today. cucumelons. They're all over the ground too. Poor lotto bush beans. That's not bad. That's not bad. little butternut as big as it's gonna get the two that I ate earlier this year were a little bit bigger than this one before the vine bore killed the vine so next year look you in the eyes next year I'm gonna be more vigilant with my squash and the vine bore and oh my god it is so hot it's so flipping hot here 
chose to live here for now.